Wally's Tech Jenkins, and we are back for another and hopefully more productive episode of Tech It. Here we go, I'm going to be converting electricity into MJ, into EU, be building, maintaining, and hopefully inspiring. And uh, yeah, we all six again. Also, in terms of watching the growth, this is literally leaving off about 20 seconds after the last episode was. I just need to quickly set my clock. Alright, let's go. First thing I need. Stone gears. For that I need wood gears. I can do stone gears. Then brass gears. And then I believe it is motors. Yes, motors. Nope, some noobs could actually learn off this. But only noobs would learn. Me, any, Anyone who's not a noob would definitely, definitely not learn anything. I'll supply myself um, just one notch past the noob. Actually, one notch past the noob, that's a lot better than I usually do. So, hooray! <laughs> Most successful game ever. Coils, yep. Uh, more iron. Yep. If you don't know how to make the diamond draw plate, I will show you in a moment. And if you do, you can just, uh, well, don't skip, but ignore that part. Diamond draw plate is bam, like that. Diamond panel and iron panel strips. The best thing about doing that is that whenever you made the iron panel strips out of it, then you can actually turn them back into their respective ingots. The hell? Where even was that in the video? It's just one thing I hate. I hate whenever an enderman teleports into your house and then teleports out again because then you don't know if it's still here. This could be anywhere. Not anywhere you can teleport into. Other than the fact that I heard it. It doesn't happen often, but whatever it does is freaky. After all, we've only got another 12 minutes and 10 seconds left, apparently. Well, I'm not actually going to take my limit. That's two blue electric motors. So now that's enough for that. So I can just go two, two, six, two. And bam, power blue electric engines, just like that. Now I need some wire. See, that's 12 for that. Yeah, may as well just do the full lot. Which is a major failure. I made that so I never need to get any other kind of food. Then, from cutting trees, I got in there and five apples. So, yeah. I haven't eaten a single fish since I built the machine. I haven't eaten a single fish before I built the machine either. These fish are not part of the diet. Now that done, should be. Do <laughs> 
So now at this point, the most efficient way to use it. Oh, got a speaker. See a block I don't have down there. I don't have a wall down there, so. So I dare say I will need to attach it somehow like that. And for the rest, I should just be able to use that. We need another bat box, which isn't so hard to make. Already got another two PT bashers there. And yes, I'm keeping those just because I keep needing shuffle power between black boxes if things aren't going to hell manually. Well, shift manually if things go to hell. Which they far often do. Is there anything I can actually do with these apples? I want to burn them. That's all I want. I just want to burn them. I'm not going to eat all of them. I'm just going to call me in the I'm just going to call me in the recycling them actually. That's a very good idea. As soon as that is finished, I'll be able to start attacking this thing. Right, so. Blue electric engines. That box. We've got two in the engines, but. Oh, and those have run out. Fair enough, perfect. So now I can just have one there, one there. Running off the one master switch, and then this can be a manual thing for the engine that I stick here to be a starting engine. So now I actually need to provide power to those. I know it would have been easier to do it the other way, but still. And one thing. I actually, no idea what I'm going to do with this. that should then go through there and power those so I should frankly all from this one system which is gaining power hopefully indefinitely should now be able to turn those on have a constant input with those and those do get fast all right so just by using Yes, perfect. That is still gaining power. Those are all gaining power, I think. They just had to equalize. And it fluctuated while it did. Yep, and then if I don't turn those on, I should have a constant flow of power. So that is done. And that was the only other thing I checked with, really. Well, you can see those have pretty much gone back. That's still gaining power there. Oh, 
I have no idea what I even hope to achieve from recording. I watched a pretty cool movie about recording tonight. Uh, it was um, Chronicle, I think. Kind of like the movie Super 8, only very distinctly different. And I think it's probably better. So the main concern here, that is very slowly losing power, and that's because it is night time, and yes, I do know I left the, I left the door open over there. Also, if you're wondering what the hell this thing is, it's actually really cool and useful, because whenever I use the machines down there, I give me like fire radiation stuff, and I also get like 10 ingot. Now if I just want pure 10, then I can stick it in there and it won't have the compatibility there. I can literally just stick oh that will trap the silver. Silver in there it says ingot silver. Then can get silver ingot from the addition. No conversion necessary. Can also make it just normal silver ingots like that. Silver ingots like that. And you can see each time the ID is changing so it's so a really helpful Walk and I'm actually surprised that no one else has done anything like that. It's really unique. Let's be ready to receive cobblestone. Yeah, it's ready. More than ready. Just have the advanced alloy sitting in there for longer than I can remember. And quite frankly, I have no idea what I actually want to do with it. It's not I actually have any advanced machines apart from the MFSU. So I could do some more stuff with that. Force fields. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Let's barrel wants the storage upgrade, so yeah, pretty cool. Snappers, cool range, camouflage, why would you even want to do that? Container, Ah, oh, that's the good stuff. Machine, machine blocks, reinforced glass, reinforced stone might be worth looking into. Looks pretty cool. Glass, mining laser, radium plates, nano saber. Hmm, how's it last? No, I guess. No, no, don't really need. Don't need it at all. And then of course the nano suit. Well, sorry, the quantum suit. And these things themselves can make mass replicators, terraformers, teleporters. Hmm? How are they different? Oh, it's induction on here. Yeah. FSUs, induction furnaces. FSU will be definitely worth getting at some point. Induction furnace. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nukes, now I need the machine blocks. Rotor macerators, some machines try. Yeah, so really nothing I can be bothered using. That's alright, because like I checked last time, there's 40 seconds left on the clock. So, hooray! suppose I'm, you may as well add in, but I have been listening to a lot of Iron Maiden recently. Uh, whilst I've been listening to Iron Maiden, I've been getting, saying like, yeah, yeah, let's record, let's record. And as soon as I start listening to Iron Maiden, I just lose all inspiration. Now that constant power drain, 
Damn. So that is definitely, definitely losing power. Not good. Gonna need more panels. And that's my time. Alright, thank you for watching and goodbye. Ahem. Alarm, stop. Thank you. So, thank you for watching. This has been Chicken Dickens. Uh, well, yeah, Chicken Dickens is definitely gone. And. Goodbye, I guess. Also, worth noting, you can still see my skin because I have invisibility on my armor. Yeah, sure, it's good. With its horrible pink neck, which for some reason some people think is very, very disturbing. That looks very disturbing, yes. Also, there's one quick thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention about my power suit and my house design. The soul generator, not there. And the fact that I have a sunroof, it literally means that I can stand right in the middle of my house, be perfectly protected, just walk away and leave it, and whenever I come back, later on, then my suit has been charged up by the sun. Turns out I did not need that after all. Alright, so once again, like for the third time in a row, thank you for watching, this has been Chuck Dickens, and goodbye.